Hi folks, this is Ate, hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Tron and you're watching Moon333 and the information I'm providing here in this video is for educational purpose only. This is not intended to be investment advice so please seek a duly licensed professional and do your own research as well for investment advice. Guys, uh, this was a chart I published on 16th of December 2019 uh, where I have revealed that the price action of Tron on 3-day chart had formed a perfect bullish bad pattern and entered in the potential reversal zone of this bullish bad pattern. And as per uh, bad pattern and the Fibonacci sequence of this bad pattern, the price action was supposed to retrace or project it between 0.382 to 0.786 Fibonacci level or Fibonacci projection of A to D leg. Uh, therefore, I set myself targets accordingly and now we can see the price action took a very very powerful bullish divergence and even not entered in this zone even it has crossed up the 0.786 fibonacci level as well i was expecting uh when the price action crossed uh, crossed up this level i was expecting that it will use this 0.786 uh, fibonacci projection as a support now because whenever the price action of any bat or butterfly or shark pattern or any harmonic pattern crosses up the 0.786 Fibonacci projection. Uh, most of the in most of the cases, it uses uh, this Fibonacci projection as a support. Uh, but this time, the price action dropped down, and now it is using 0.382 Fibonacci projection as a support, and we can see it is moving sideways here and it is being consolidated here at this level. So uh, it is possible that it will use this support for the next bullish divergence very soon and uh, definitely I have also received some more positive signals in favor of bullish move. I'll definitely share with you later in this video. Uh, and uh, if we see on the daily chart then we can uh, we have a very positive signal that so far the price action did not break down uh, the moving averages, the simple moving averages with the time period of 100 and 200. When the price action took the bullish divergence, I was expecting that at any time it can drop down again again on these moving averages because when the price action uh, crossed up these moving averages, then it left the moving averages uh, below at very far distance. And whenever the price action leaves the moving averages at distance, then there are more possibilities that the price action again uh, can drop on those moving averages to take or use those moving averages as a support. Uh, therefore, it is uh, much important for the moving averages to move with the price action for the firm and really powerful and real bullish divergence. Uh, now, uh, there is a very positive signal that so far the price action did not break down this moving, these moving averages and it is being consolidated uh, even uh, here on 1st of March we can uh, see that the price action tried to take the bullish divergence but now again dropped down again on these moving averages. And we have a very strong resistance at this level because once uh, uh, first when the price action broke out uh, the 100 simple moving average, it used this uh, s a simple moving average as a support and uh, after that it broke out the next 200 simple moving average and now it is retesting the 200 simple moving average as a support. And uh, we have several touches here, therefore a, resist a, a support level is also uh, formed at this level and it will be difficult for the price action to break down this support level which was formed uh, in January 2020 and we have also the moving averages support at this level and now uh, this is the most uh, interesting uh, part for me because I like the harmonic patterns a lot and whenever I find uh, the harmonic patterns on, on in of any asset I, I share with you always. Uh, here we can see that the, the TRX has formed a bullish shark pattern on daily chart now and it is entered in the potential reversal zone of this bullish shark pattern and this is the second time the price action has entered in this uh, potential reversal zone uh, and for the educational purpose I am just telling you 
the dimensions of this bullish arc pattern and this is the initial leg and a to b leg is retraced between 0.382 to 0.786 fibonacci as required for the a to b of uh, leg of the bullish arc and b to c leg is projected between point uh, uh, 1.13 up to 1.618 fibonacci level there is a little bit spike uh, beyond the uh, uh, the level of 1.618 Fibonacci. I've just ignored that uh, spike cause all of the legs are driven very perfectly. And uh, the final leg was supposed to be retraced between uh, 0.886 up to 1.13 Fibonacci level. And here now we can see it is entered in uh, the area of 1.13, uh, 0.886 up to 1.13 Fibonacci level. And this is the second time it is uh, getting entered in this potential reversal zone first it was entered uh in uh, on feb 27 and after that it took a little bit bullish divergence and again dropped down in the potential reversal zone now it is expected as per fibonacci sequence of bullish shark that it will take the bullish divergence again and it will enter uh, in this fibonacci projection area of c to d lag of this bullish shark pattern from 0.382 2.786 Fibonacci projection of C to D leg. And uh, we have another strong support now, and that is the potential reversal zone of this bullish shark pattern, cause the potential reversal zone also works as a strong support for the price line. And here it will be difficult for the price line to break down the potential reversal zone. But we can use uh, this potential reversal zone as a stop loss if a complete candlestick will be uh, closed below this PRZ level, then uh, we can take exit from the trade and use it as a stop loss. And after taking the bullish divergence, what can happen that we have these support and resistance levels on the long term. I'm just talking about the long term perspective, not the short term, because uh, we will have different short term resistance and supports. Uh, but in, on the long term, I'm just ignoring the, the resistance and the supports level. Uh, support levels which we will have on the short term on daily chart uh, on weekly chart we have a support level at 1.277 cents and this is really very strong support which is not broken since november 2018 and we have several touches and so far it is not broken up broken down and uh, the first resistance level which we have where the price action is struggling and fighting to break out this resistance level is uh, 2.3 cents. And here we can see that on 10th of Feb, on this weekly chart, the candlestick has hit at this resistance level, but could not break out this resistance level and drop down again. And this is also very strong resistance cause this is working as sometimes as support and sometimes as resistance since August 2018. Even you can say uh, since March, uh, 2018 it is working as support and sometimes as resistance you can see here you can see here at this level and also at this level and now finally it is working as a resistance now and after that we'll have another resistance level that is uh, 3.1 uh, cents and after that uh, we will have our final that is our key level resistance that is 4 cents and at this time uh, this resistance level is almost 150% away from the price action. But once this resistance level will be broken out, then the price action of Tron or TRX can make or achieve the higher than the previous high of 2017 or 18. Uh, and it can achieve the highest price ever in the history of Tron. But so far, it is struggling at this resistance. I am very much optimistic that it will soon break out this resistance level because we have three support zones now. Uh, the support level of this potential reversal zone and the support of these moving averages, 100 and the 200 simple moving averages, and the support of this uh, Fibonacci projection of 0.382 uh, of this bullish bad pattern and I think it will be difficult for the price action in my opinion that it will 
uh, break down there's th these supports these three supports like potential reversals on and the moving averages and 0.382 Fibonacci projection of previous bad pattern and uh, now it is consolidated at, at this level and it, it can take the bullish divergence at any time to hit this resistance level again and to make another attempt to break out this resistance so be ready it can take the bullish divergence at any time but for uh to to hit at this level it is very much important that the trx should cross up uh, the 0.786 fibonacci projection of this bullish shark pattern this recently formed bullish shark pattern and i'm expecting that it will cross up like it has crossed up here uh, the 0.786 uh, uh, fibonacci projection of this bullish bad pattern so this was the update so far and i hope that you have liked this update if you like the video then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel take care goodbye